Hi guys, just wanted to record my first haul video, but first I'd like to give you a little background on my careers and how I got to become a full-time reseller. I have a background in business and also am a nurse um, and started in 2017 just wanting to clean our house up, clean some of the stuff up that we don't use and began selling on eBay in 2017 and ended up making over $2,000 just by cleaning out our house. And it was just my husband and I, but clothes we didn't wear, purses I didn't use, um, any electronics that um, still worked, but we weren't using them, um, books. I mean, you name it, I put it up on eBay and it actually did really well. Um, so from there, um, kind of got just off track and let it go by itself. Um, kept working as a nurse and my husband and I um, got pregnant and we ended up having back-to-back -back pregnancies. So um, for the last two years, um, I've had um, just two little ones. So my little guy is one and a half and my little girl is just over seven months. So to make this work, I decided to stay home and just about four months ago, we decide to really kick it in gear and hopefully get my husband home. So we are now full-time on eBay, Poshmark, and Amazon. So we did um, over 800 items active on eBay currently, just this month we hit. Um, on Poshmark, I have, I think, just over 600. And um, Amazon, we um, merchant and FBA, I think we're right at 300. So um, this video is just about the haul that I just got home from the bins for. So, but I just wanted to give you a little background on um, how I became a reseller, just cleaning out stuff, and then what um, it's become a full blown thing for us. So um, one of the last things I just actually grabbed was this Pendleton super nice quarter zip black pullover fleece sweater um i got oh i got some great adidas um the climate cool nike or climate cool adidas um golf polos but then i also got a bunch of nike ones today um a nike dry fit just workout shirt, running shirt for guys. I've got, um, here's one of the Nike Golf shirts for guys, polos. These sell extremely well for us, um, especially if they're in great condition. This one has like a little snagging, but um, usually anywhere from 15 to $20 with those. They're a great, just, thing to have in your closet so that, or not closet, but eBay store, sorry, have Poshmark on my brain, but just some great stuff that sells for us. We also have um, Lucky Brand t-shirt for guys. I believe it's an extra large, so good size. Anywhere from 12 to 15 could do that. Um, and again, these are just items that work for our store. I mean, I've been doing this not regularly for two years, but just another Nike Pro sleeveless guys workout shirt. But these are brands that have been selling for us. The last four months has definitely picked up for us. We've been um, listing consistently at least four, five items a day, which doesn't seem like a lot, but um, we've consistently come to selling at least five items a day, which really adds up. And um, last month was the first month that we had made every day five plus listings. And it totaled out that we made over 1200 on eBay. And that is the like shipping, taking out everything. It is not um, our like hauls from the bins and stuff. Um, so we made about um, I think we spent 500, so we made about 700 on eBay. I'll have to look at my numbers, but those are just roundabout numbers. 
But I mean, who couldn't use an extra $700 um, a month to pay for an extra bill, get extra groceries? I mean, the holidays are coming up. Just little things that, I mean, we have diapers galore, so that's what we're always getting. But um, just another Adidas medium. This is a women's polo, blue. Um, it does have this little embroidery on it, which I found two others. So I'll have to do some research on if this is um, maybe for a company or maybe it's a team logo. If you know what this is, feel free to comment below and let me know. Thank you. Also, just leaving the bins and glance over at the one of the bins and come up. Just laying there to, I believe this is cool, is how you pronounce it, but um, guys like utility work pants. Um, they do have a couple little stains on them, but they're such great um, sellers that I pick them up and I mean, these are like 80 to $90 pants, and some guy will love to have these for work pants just because they're such good material. Um, just some Gap khaki shorts because summer and vacation will be right around the corner. So I kind of do a mix of winter, summer stuff. Um, got these J. Crew stretch cotton 10 tall. Whew. Um, these are very nice. Just some great basic items that sell good in our store. Grabbed these. These are so cute. These are Banana Republic, um, size eight. Super cute design. Um, but again, for summer shorts. But people are always going on vacation. You never know what will sell in your store. So figuring out brands and what works for you um, does take some time. But I do go to the bins and pay $1.29 per pound. So for me, figuring out what sells and then uh, putting on a sale of stuff that sat for a little bit and selling it um, is not like we lose any money because we pay so cheap for these items. Um, these are Indianapolis Colts, which I'm from Indiana, so I picked them up, but um, just pajama pants for football season, super cute. I got, oh, well, here's the other pair of cool 34 by 34 utility men's work pants. See a little stain right here. Might be able to get it out, maybe not, but um, I still think they'll go for a decent profit um, for a guy who wants some nice pants to work. Um, then I grabbed just some Levi's regular. Nothing extravagant today that I found. These are 34 by 34, which is also my husband's size, so I do pick them up just in case he would like them. This brand is, I'm probably gonna pronounce this way wrong. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. <laughs> Starts with a B, but 2XL, but it said Egyptian cotton and it feels amazing. Um, just kind of like a mock turtleneck, long sleeve, Kind of like a base layer nothing special about it but it felt so good and i thought maybe with the egyptian cotton that it might be worth something so i didn't look it up while i was at goodwill bins um i don't stand in line and look things up for comps usually so um usually just go with my gut and um sometimes you win and sometimes you lose but um next thing is tony hawk button up short sleeve shirt but it is new with tags and the tags say that it is $36 regularly so who knows I've never really sold a Tony Hawk so we will see if it brings a decent profit another new with tags here um, J Crew super cute like velvet light pink top the scrunch side. 
Um, does not say the price, but J. Crew usually goes for a decent profit. We got these Kenpo extra, extra large, oh, 2XL for guys. Never heard of this brand, but it did have the sticker attached. So these are new with tag two and they're $75. So I thought I would grab them. Um, just basic sweats for a gentleman with side pockets, kind of those cargo side pockets. Black, um, got the scrunchy things on the bottom to tie, make it more fitted. But brand new with tags, usually um, the stuff sells pretty decently because they know it's new with tags. And then um, just some snow pants. These are also new with tags. I don't know this brand. It just says sports on it, but on the back it's in euros, but I thought, hey, if they don't sell, I got two kiddos, so sometimes I do just pick stuff up, and if it doesn't sell, then um, I take it to my kid's closet. So that was one basket, and let's see what we got. This was just a Puma. Short sleeve, sweatshirt zip up with hood. Super cute. Might be for the little girl, but picked it up. Um, some Champion extra large sweatpants. These are still in stores, so that's why I picked these up. Um, they have the little logo on the bottom. Super nice and soft. So these, um, even though they're an off, brand or not like the most popular brands. I sell Target brands very well. I actually just sold a Target or a Walmart sweater, the Time and True. Um, it was on the website still. It was for $16 and last night I sold it on eBay for um, $15 with shipping. So you still can <laughs> sell some of these items at new price um, so for me Walmart and Target brands sell really well and so I do pick them up a lot the champion the time and true and then um, the universal thread that's like the newer brand at Target that's been like a really good staple in my store so um, this next one says 42 pops it's a medium slash large pullover sweater never heard of this brand show you the tag sorry I'm doing this on my phone my iPad would not work so this is we're on a little smaller screen but thought this would be a super cute it's a longer sweater has pockets be a super cute staple piece for any girl's closet to go over leggings um let's see oh this is another nike golf dry fit polo so oops and there it is nike golf men's this one is very nice but it also has this horse i believe that's what that is that was on the adidas women's ones that i don't know what that is so still have to look that up then I came across this um, reversible water, waterproof reversible jacket. It feels amazing. Sorry. But it has this ZR on both sides of it. It's like a, a blue plaid, but it's kind of windbreaker-ish. But it's short sleeve. I kind of feel like this might be good for golfing or just a, a, an outdoor sport that you want something looser but lightweight in case it rains. But I do not know what that brand was and it didn't have a tag, but um, went with my gut with that one and still got it. Next up is just Puma pants, gray, kind of those sweatpants for some guys. Um, we have been selling a lot more guys stuff in our 
eBay store recently and we did just recently go through all the guys bins redo the listings, redo some of the pictures, and then actually change some of the pricing to buy it now. And we've had some great sales off that. So just knowing that um, even though you list it once, you still need to um, go through, keep track of your inventory, also relisting, and then also editing, which I'll do a video on that, what I do almost daily on how to re relist or populate your eBay listing so that you can um, get more sales, which I've been doing it for, what, two weeks now? And I bet we have had 25% more sales of our old inventory that I go through, edit, and make sure it repopulates um, in eBay so that it's not way down at the bo bottom from just looking through so many items and people listing. Your listings go down the longer that they stay on. Um, next up was this Maddie M. I love this brand because it's just super soft, very basic. This would be great to go with leggings or jeans for a lady. And it's, what does it say this size? Oh, an extra large, like maroon, uh, short sleeve, basic t-shirt. Um, then we have a Columbia large. Um, button up for a guy we got who I did find this jersey um, Major League Baseball we do live in Colorado so it's the Rockies it is a large there you go great condition just needs washed so that's a good score um, came across some Columbia 38 cargo shorts, navy blue, another staple item. Those are so great. Then, let's see, Pink Republic. Just a little lightweight sweater for the ladies. Always good if I think it's cute. I also um, pick it up and it usually sells even if it's an off brand. So sometimes you just have to go with your gut and then figure out what brands sell best for you. An Express, Striped, Henley Pullover, Long Sleeved. Um, oh my goodness, I found these adorable. They're called Little Sass, but look at these little girl leggings with these like little poof. Oh my goodness, so cute. Thank goodness I got a little girl. So those are for, for her. Um, let's see. Oh, Avia. Again, Walmart Target brands. Also, any workout athleisure stuff sells good for me. This did not have a tag up top, but the material tag said QVC, which I've learned that some QVC stuff sells really well because um, once it's out, it's out. So we have that. Um, it's kind of tie-dye-ish material. We got a skull uh, LuLaRoe leggings. Kind of pink red with some flowers. I still do pick up some LuLaRoe just because it um, still sells decently, but um, not as great as it used to. Time and True, great size, XXL, ladies buy that. This is my little man, he's trying to get me to turn. Found an Adidas, medium, quarter zip pullover, it's a blue. Great shape, great condition. We got another Avia shirt. Blue basic workout. It's kind of the cuter back. Hi, buddy. This is my little man. Then we got Old Navy small windbreaker pants. Another great. And then, hold on, bud. 
another time and true basic i might lot these sometimes it's better to lot them when they're two xls and they sell um better i did get 45 pounds today Shh, bad day. 45 pounds today sorry for 58 dollars and i do have a little more but i'm going to end because someone is not happy but if you like this video or if you have any um, comments you would like, feel free to put them down below. Feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, and um, feel free to check out my eBay store. It's the Springs underscore 15 if you saw something you like. Hope you guys have a great day, and thanks again.